Okay, so brace yourself people, we are going in in a minute to have a look at Patrick and Boris. Right, I'm off to see the piggies. Now, last time we saw them they were alive alive oh, and they're heading off to the abattoir. This time they're deady deady o. Oh. So uh, the pigs were killed last Friday. They were scheduled to come to the butcher on uh, Tuesday. But unfortunately, unbelievably, they had an RTA with the vehicle that was bringing them, road traffic accident. Uh, the vehicle skidded off the road and apparently had to be recovered and I presume went back to the abattoir. So we're a day late on this. They're at the butchers at Mike Perry's at Alveston now. I'm just heading up there to see his son Jonathan and we're going to have a little look at them and we're going to discuss what I'm going to have made out of them. Sausages, bacon, things like that. Um, so a word of warning here now. For any of you who are worried about seeing a dead animal, this is time to turn off because we're probably going to see these pigs in their raw state hanging in the butcher's chiller. So I'm just warning you now because I don't want anyone to be upset or complain about this video. So it's kind of like the real world, you know, most people end up seeing a sausage or a pork chop. They don't see where it comes from. And this is an opportunity for those who are interested to stay and watch this uh, and see what it's like to, to see it through uh, from rearing pigs right through to ending up on my plate. Okay, so we're going to crack on up to Alveston we're there in a minute. And as if by magic, Alveston appeared. Alveston rank of shops. Alveston Parade, I think it's called. So we're going to go up. Let's go and see piggies. I'm just outside the shop. Look at the range of shop sausages he's got. Sausages this week. Look at that. Here he is. Right, we're in the shop. Jonathan's here, his dad's away. He's the, you're the main man here now, really, Jonathan, aren't you? I am, yeah. Yeah, look at it. I've just been berating him about his beard. He seems to get bigger every time I see him. Uh, we've got to have a beard. Well, fair play, I had one. Not as, not as good as that. I just, while we're here, before we look at Mr. and Miss, Mr. and Mr. Piggy, let's have a look at this display here, because it always amazes me. This is a real lovely sight for traditional butchers, isn't it? So you've got your black pudding there. You make those yourself, don't Homemade you? Homemade black pudding there, yeah. Homemade black pudding. Roasted look look at that. Oil. They are amazing. Look at that. Spice. Look at that. Beautiful, isn't it? Just a job. And then you've got your scotch eggs and we're coming on. No, I'm just going to go along here. Pork pie. The pork pies. Your pork pies are amazing. Thank you. They are. I'm not making that up. I love your pork pies. So we've got quiches and pasties we're coming along here. You've got some uh, raisin steak, Perry's oat. These are your well-known sausages, aren't they? Yeah, people smart at the front, uh, hog roast, apple sage. Right. Same. Perry's porkers, they're the standard ones that everyone knows you for, really, aren't they? Yeah, we've got our orange chiplata, pork chiplatas, we've got our mango and apple. Oh, wow. And then we've got the bacon. This is, do you make your own bacon, don't you? We, we can make you some bacon yeah. out of your own pigs. We don't actually cure our own bacon for the shop. Right. Uh, we use a Cheshire Oak, okay. English bacon, um, dry cured. So don't get any of the white muck coming right. out when you right. cook it. You know, it's you know your how stuff. it should be. Um, and then you've got the rolls of beef here. We've got a bit of brisket there yeah. today. We've got rump at the back, a little rump cap. Wow. Sirloin on top side nice of the bit top. of sirloin, and then you come in for your chickens. Chickens, creedy carver chickens. And then away from Predator. Right, and then this is this is where we're looking at today. We've got, well, we've got a bit of lamb down here. We've got lamb here today. This is from our own lamb. That's your moment. own lamb. That is. Wow, yeah. nice. And then Mr. and Mr. Porky. Legs of pork, shoulders. Wow. So we're going to go and see these piggies. So what tell me, it? Jonathan, they had a little bit of an accident, didn't they? Yeah, well, they did, I think. Are they all right? They are not too bad. They survived. <laughs> okay, let's go and have a look. Okay, so brace yourself, people. We are going in in a minute to have a look at Patrick and Boris. Now, he's just lining up. I think you can hear him. I, I, I'm going to stand here while he, while he sorts them out. Are you right in there with, with yes, Patrick yeah. and Boris? Have they just said anything? Them along quickly. Right. So he, he's moving them up ready right. for me. Right, I'll turn this off. We're going to have a look when they're... Are they there now? Yeah. That's Patrick and Boris, is it? Yeah. Which ones? These two. Um, These two. Wow. So, I know nothing about carcasses, 
What, on, honest opinion, when you look at them, what are you seeing? Are they okay? Nice, yeah, nice. There's not a lot of fat on them, no. quite lean, as right. you can see. Yeah. You know, right. Got 10 mil probe, yeah. is which that, is ideal. It's about normal, is ideal, it? Ideal, yeah. Okay. These are these ones that we bought in this week. Oh, right. So, th so they they're about the same. Bigger probe, but yeah. A bit more fat on the flare. Yeah. And uh, so people. People don't like fat, do they? They're always going on about it. Oh, but it's but where the flavour is. Exactly. This is the thing, isn't it? You can always take the fat off yeah. at the end. You can cook with it yeah. and then just you know, remove it. Yeah. You've still got the flavour. So it's... just a quick one, because your dad's going to cut up half for me, I believe. Yeah. On, your, on this body here, now where would you start with what you're looking at to make something from it? Right, well, obviously you've got your legs. Yeah. Legs at the top. Leg of leg of pork. So yeah. you can either have that as your leg or you can have that as a gammon. Right. Cured. Yeah. Uh, then you'd be coming down, you've got your belly. Yeah. Um, your loins running down okay. there. So you can either have chops or bacon. Yeah. Um, belly can either go as belly pork, steaks, mm. or um, streaky bacon. Right. Then you've got your shoulder at the bottom. Yeah. So you'd be looking roasting joint. Off your, yeah. off your blade end, right? sausages from your knuckle. Okay, brilliant. Um, you can have your knuckle end rolled as well if you want more, more joints. Rather when you, than it's sort of a knuckle end joint now. I don't really know much about that. That's a, that's actually round the knuckle of the... the... the hock. Right, okay. As you feed, feed yeah. that bit there. So you've okay. got your your blade, yeah. and then you'd have... That, that would be cut about there. Right. And then you'd have that muscle rolled. Mm. And you can either have that as sausages, or you could okay. have that as a, a pork hock. Yeah. For salting and boiling, yeah, you know, nice tagine or something. Right, like that. yeah. So I mean, it's fascinating for me to see it in the raw after seeing them as pigs, because you, you know, you've got an anatomy lesson here. You've got the spine going down yeah. there, haven't you? You have got your kidney in the back. Kidney, kidney in there. Not yeah. a lot of fat, like you said, inside, is there? No, you know, no, no. with the um, even with that one, he's a lot. He's a bit of a fatter pig. Yeah, the kidney doesn't have any any core fat around no. anymore. Right, he used to. When your pigs were really fat with a yeah. you know, 20 mil pro, 30 mil pro, right. the, um, the kidney would be encased in fat and really? that's when you'd get your pork chop with the kidney. Right, oh yeah, I know. As, as you'd have seen yeah. when you were younger, I'm sure. Yeah, sure, yeah. You don't really yeah. see that now, now do you? Nowadays it, it it's just hanging. Just I guess people it's... have gone leaner, haven't they? Yeah, and, yeah. and have the pig breeds been bred for that, do you think? Have you seen a difference in your time? Um, depends, really. You know, if, they, if it's been a pet pig and it's yeah. been fed everything, then they tend to be a lot fatter yeah. and then they do come in, you can't even see the kidney. No, really? Oh, wow. I've had some in there. We had one that was the probe on, the, as I say, the probe. Yeah. It, it's the measurement on the, of the fat on the back. When you say probe, you're actually using a probe. That, that's what they use right. in the source house to okay. measure the fat. Yeah. Um, I've seen pigs with four or five inches of, no way. of fat. Really? Yeah. Wow. But the, the meat is it, it's so soft and tender. Is it? it's, it's lovely to eat. You benefit you, from it. You've just got to get rid of the fat. Yeah, yeah. Take it off. If you're not careful, you're feeding just to put fat on. You got to yes. be, It's a balance when you kill them, isn't yeah. it, really? It is. Brilliant. Well, Jonathan, we'll have a little chat what we want out of these. Thank you very much for showing me this hanging up. I think that's our neighbours, or one of our neighbours' neighbors pigs there, and they've done them at the same time. I believe they were brothers and sisters. They were. They're from the same litter, yeah. actually. Have you got weights on these at all? Um, yes. So what's, yours were... So one's 80.5. 80, 80. 80. And what's that and one? 65. 65. So that's, that's Patrick, I think, and that's Boris. Or it might be the other way around. I'll have the boys, because one of them... So one was 65, 60.5. 69. Six, one was 69. Ah, oh, right. One was 69 and one was 80.5. Yeah. That's it, really interesting, isn't it? What were, what were the greys ones? Are they... Um, oh, they haven't got a ticket on. No. Never mind. Yeah, oh, there's one there. Is that 100? 100, 101. 100? Is that for the two? 200. Uh, yes, that'll be for the two. So theirs are really heavy oh, then. Yeah. So they fed them some better stuff than me. I'll have to find out what well, they fed them. He did... He, his pigs, the first ones he brought yeah. in, were a little bit fatter, fatter than yours. Yeah. And he, he said, well, can I get away with giving them a bit more milk? Right. Said, yeah, oh, we fed the milk. I didn't give them the milk. Give them a bit of, bit Did of they? Milk, as you can see. Oh, there's a lot of fat. fat. Has done the extra work on uh, the on the fleck. Yeah. So I, you. And on the. On the back, oh, see? crikey! Yeah. But you, the flavour. Yeah, that'll mm. give it the flavour. And you can see a, the muscle there. Yeah. It. They seem. It seems to be a lot bigger as well. It does. The muscle, don't they? Yeah. If you know. That's interesting. I might give them a bit of milk. If we do some more another time. Yeah. 
These are your dad's lambs, aren't this, they? This is one that we've bred ourselves. Wow, nice. Petted by my own fair hand. You haven't got a lot of fat on it, you've got no. it about right, a nice covering, nice but lean. not, you know. You know, as I, there you go, you can see there where the kidneys yeah. have got the fat around them yeah. inside. Ah, uh, yeah, more fat on the, that. Yeah, that on because the little lambs tend to put more fat they on do, them. They do, yeah, they do tend to have, the, the, the lambs do tend to have their kidneys yeah. mostly encased in fat. Right. But yeah, he's lovely, nice, got a shape to it. Yeah. How many of these lambs are yours then? Uh, all of those. All yeah. those. Yeah, about we, five in there. Yeah, about ten. Yeah, ten killed last week. And did he? We're Fair certainly working our way then. through them. Wow, nice. Yeah. And do they have to hang long? Is no, it, no, no. We, it's only beef. We do. We do hang them for about two or three days. But yeah. Not really with the lamb. The, it's bit, just the, the beef's beef. all hung. That's pre-hung, is it? Yeah. 20, That's a hell of a piece days, of beef, isn't it? Wow, look at that. Lovely. Yes. Wow, amazing. I always love seeing this. It's just so in the raw, isn't it? Thanks, mate. That's the other thing. Oh, that's your awful. Offer, oh, my offal. That's a gift, isn't it? Not sure I want that. <laughs> Not sure about that. Don't want your, your liver? Uh, I don't want to take it now. <laughs> I'll have a think about that. I, the only thing is, I'll be the only one who eats it. Yeah. Everyone else will be like, hmm. Have a look. Well, all right. Mate. Mm, mate, that's brilliant. Thank you very much. All right. There you go. How about that? That was, for me, that was fascinating. But don't hide in there, it's freezing. <laughs> It's literally freezing, isn't it? What temperature is that, Chilton? About six. At the moment, it's about 0.8 because we've had the door open. It's right. at 0.1. Or... 0.1. There you go. So there's the inside uh, from a butcher. Right. Shut her up. We'll have a chat. Gutting what we want here, aren't we? And we're just going to put this down. In a minute, I'm going to tell you what I've decided on. I'm going to turn this off now because there's no point in filming. We'll put you off. We'll discuss what we're going to have at the end. Just working our way through, so aren't we? With your shoulders, uh, slow roast joints for the blade. Yeah, that'd be nice. Lovely. Um, Donovan, we've been through this. You've been really good because you've kind of worked your way through the carcass working out the joints, haven't you, really? So what have we agreed to then, just right, to remind so me? We're going to go for, for your legs. We're going to go joints up to two kilos in weight which yep. will feed a, a nice decent family yeah um your loins we're going to go three as bacon as you said you like a lot of bacon, two love bacon. we're going to go one belly as um one loin as chops uh the belly pork we're going to do some streaky bacon um some pork belly steaks and we're going to make some sausages out of those Hanging. with your shoulders we're going to have some lovely slow roast joints made from your blade ends the rest of the and the trimmings are all going to go for sausages, and I believe on the sausages we are going for the standard pain pork. Perry's, Perry's pork. porkers, crack on, mate. That's brilliant. Right, we'll see the. I'm going to come back and see his dad. Your dad's coming up to bring down the carcass, and we're going to do a separate video on that. And then I'll be showing you later on. I'll be cooking with. Uh, I think we'll be having a breakfast of bacon and sausages uh, with the famous Perry's pork. There we go. That's the way to do and it. And give your plug, uh, your shop a plug because it is a fantastic well, butcher shop. Well, we are shop. Perry and Son Butchers, Alverston. We've been here for 39 years. My father's business. Um, Christmas orders will soon be being taken: turkeys, geese, ducks, chickens. You name it. We'll be making it. What's your postcode if anyone wants to look up where you are? BS35 3LU. Brilliant, thank you, Jonathan. Well, that's exciting, isn't it? I've kind of nice, nice little end to uh, the pigs with a proper plan to make them into something decent, um, some quality sausages. I'm probably going to end up with 50 or 60 kgs of sausages, which is phenomenal, isn't it? Um, bacon, everything. Right. I've got to get going. Right, crack on.